Oh wait, before we start, can I roast Kalinsky real quick? I don't know. I'm surprised that I was rated. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, sorry. Hey, also, Destiny got a two. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Alright, I always have higher than Destiny. I'm fine. Uh, do, do you guys have any hype change going on? Nice. What is this rate? Like rating from a girl or whatever? Oof. My favorite thing about the whole Squad W movement is how like important it is for them to be like independent of like horrible women because women are horrible. But then at the end of the day, they still measure their success by like, I'm gonna get you guys pussy. And it's like. Oh, so you're actually still like letting women like dictate how popular or how like much worth you think you have. That's pretty funny. Um, I think the point of that clip was in the ending. Oh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Is he unbanned? What do you think? Roast Kalinsky. Okay. Where was the Kalinsky? Find me this YouTube video. I'm so glad. I'm happy that I did the left the arc. I like to read about shit now. Team it's me. really interesting to me. I like reading about shit now. You know why? Do you know what I realized, guys? When people call you, when people call you Wikipedia Andy, embrace it because Wikipedia is the fucking path to salvation. Just read Wikipedia articles about shit that people are talking about, and you're going to be more informed than 99% of the people that are talking about it. That includes Please. Twitch and YouTube political commentators. Um, which is strange, because this shit is their job. Man, I play League all day. I don't know, what are these guys doing all day that they don't do any research on what they talk about? I play League of Legends and Stardew Valley and Oxygen Not Included. WTF, like, it made me unfollow I feel like me. at least I have a good excuse. But like, okay, let's listen real quick. All right, so I have some breaking news for everybody. And this is one of those situations where I hate to say I told you so, but I told you so. You didn't. Uh, um. So, during the... Iranian strike on an empty U.S. military base in Iraq yesterday. We also got news... I like how he tempers it to be as soft as possible to Iran. So Iran, they bombed the base. It was empty. Okay, it was empty. ...that a passenger plane went down in Tehran. And the official story that was given at the time was, oh, no, no, it's unrelated and it's engine failure. Well, that's curious, especially because the answer came that quickly. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Anybody shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. So my first thought was, well, hold on now. Was it really engine failure or because uh, that is a that's mighty convenient timing right there. Sure. So, you know, my guess was maybe the U.S. shot it down because we. Why? Why would that be your go to? Well, let's listen, Kalinsky. Maybe the U.S. shot it down because we were in the process of having our military base being shot at and blown up and missiles being fired at it. And do I put it beyond the U.S. to attack a. Uh, you know, civilian aircraft? No, because we did it in the past, literally to Iran. Archive. That is one of the most disingenuous shit framings I've ever heard in my entire life. It fails on two horrible counts. So firstly, the, we'll, we'll go by the very first obvious one. Attack, uh, you know, civilian aircraft? No, because we did it in the past, literally. He makes it sound like America is intentionally shooting down civilian planes, which America does not do. Now, Iran charged us in 88 with such negligence that it bordered on you meant to shoot down an Iranian passenger aircraft, which is okay. If you want to play that route, you can. But this idea that America goes around shooting down civilian planes is ridiculous. Number two, okay, if we go and look at Iran, okay, the plane that America shot down was coming out of, I don't know how to pronounce this, Bandar Abbas, was coming out of this airport, flying over the strait, of Hormuz, going to um, Hormuz, going to um, Dubai, or maybe you would consider this the Persian Gulf. I, I think it was over the Gulf is what you consider it, right? This was out of out of Iran, okay, through this strait, and that's where an American um, cruiser, an American battleship, shot it down, okay. This other plane took off over Tehran and was shot down here. There is a massive difference, okay. Do you think we have like? Did we just have planes scrambled over Tehran, just like fucking bombing the fuck out of them so much so that we managed to hit a fucking civilian plane? These two things, now, I'm incredibly confident that Kyle doesn't know where this other plane was shot down. He has no fucking idea where it was going to. He didn't know that this was a 30-minute flight out of the country into another one. He probably has no fucking idea what happened here. All he's ever heard Iran. was, oh, I guess um, America shot down Iranian civilian airliner. Oh, they could shoot down any other civilian airliner. That's not true. Now, were the circumstances pretty similar? Yeah, 
Tensions were high here. American Cruiser fucked up hard, probably made a lot of fucking mistakes, ignored a lot of shit, shot down a fucking spoiler plane in a horrible fucking manner that was absolutely atrocious. Um, I think that, uh, was it Reagan at the time, wrote like a letter a few days later to Iran apologizing for it, although the U.S. has never officially claimed responsibility for it, though we did pay them a little bit of money for it. But to claim that since we shot down a ship, or shot down a civilian airline that was flying over this strait would be the same as us having planes in Tehran shooting at a fucking civilian airport is hilariously fucking stupid. He has no fuck, And for him to pretend like he cares so much about this, like, oh, it's so horrible that these places... And then have no fucking idea what even happened to the last one? Like, fuck out of here, dude. Destiny, no, the plane was on the wrong frequency and didn't respond to Hales. So, my understanding was that that plane did broadcast at least three times. Oh, no, no. I think it was hailed seven times in military frequency, three times on nominal military frequency, and I don't think it responded to the nominal military ones, but I think the plane was broadcasting on band three or frequency three or wave three, whatever they call it. It was an American fuck up. It was 100% an American fuck up. The plane was in an ascent mode. They, on the cruiser, assumed that it was in a descent mode. Like, everybody looked through the logs of the, because the, the Aegis combat system, whatever, logs all that shit or whatever. It was a fuck up. It was 100% a fuck up on the American side. There, was, It wasn't like maybe the plane could have responded to a different signal. I think there were a couple it didn't respond to, but it was an American fuck up, 100%. We thought it was a... Wait, so specifically, how are they different? They're different because it's to believe that America is shooting down civilian airlines over Tehran would require America to deploy jets over Tehran or to be... I don't know if we... Do we have missiles that we could launch from the borders here into like into like an Iranian airport to hit a to hit one civilian plane? Like that that type of difference would be monumental compared to shooting down a plane that flew out of Iran and was going over. Um, I don't think these are international waters. I think um, for a while we were in this. I, I I know that Oman told us to leave for a while and like we were in the process of exiting or whatever. But like these two things are like very different. Like if somebody told me like oh you know a civilian airliner was shot down you know after flying out of Iran to another country passing over a straight that American cruiser was okay sure that's kind of believable. But for you to say that a civilian airliner was shot down over Tehran oh yeah probably America what no. These two things are not the, the same at all. Like, geographically, these are very different things. If you knew where Tehran was, and you knew where that other plane took off from, you wouldn't draw a comparison between those two situations. Like, yeah, not to mention that the Strait of Hormuz is, like, insanely contested by a ton of people, and there were war things going on around here. Not to say that that excuses it. To be unequivocally clear, America was horrible in downing that civilian airliner. It was a massive fuck-up, and it was bad. But, like, it's, like, so desperately clinging on to anything, trying to shit on America, like, to make Iran look good. Well, not Iran look good, but anybody not America look good. Like, holy shit. Really to Iran. To Iran. So that was my first thought. Then my second thought, and this is after a conversation with my friend, who happens to be Iranian, and he was giving me some information that I wasn't privy to, just following U.S. media at the time. But what my friend said is, and, and I tweeted this yesterday, take a look. My friend who is Iranian... I like how he shows the tweets where he about his friend, where he thought it was okay, but he doesn't show the one where he's like, hmm, did America shoot this down? Iran accidentally shot down the passenger plane. Grow your hair was a US out jet. for all of 20. There were rumors in Iranian media yesterday that the U.S. might target airports in Iran. The Iranian Revolutionary Guard had installed surface -to air guns around most airports. And then I go on to say, the way it went down was unlikely engine failure. That's the official reason they gave. This was claimed within minutes of the crash by Iran. Hours later, head of Iran's civil authority said they had no idea why it went down, and the plane made zero contact with air traffic control. Very suspicious. Dennis. Well, now the breaking news is this. Ukrainian flight that crashed just outside the Iranian capital of Tehran was struck by an anti-aircraft missile system. Two Pentagon officials and an Iraqi intelligence official told Newsweek. Hmm. So it looks like what happened is what my friend predicted and what I was tweeting about yesterday. Um, what I was tweeting about yesterday? I mean, if you make enough shit predictions, Kyle, then one of them is bound to come true. But, like, it's really clever. I, it's not clever. It's actually insanely fucking stupid. But I like how if he tweets enough shit takes, like, one of them is bound to be true. Like, well, I had to say it, guys, but I was correct on this. Like, yeah. What the fuck? So if the United... The thing is, is that if the United States would have, um... Um, fuck. Oh, I shouldn't scroll on his Twitter. That might be something not safe for work. Um, but like, if the United States would have um, would have shot down the plane, then you would have also said the same. Um, so did that passenger plane actually crash in Iran, or did the U.S. shoot it down? The timing is mighty odd. So if the U.S. would have shot it down, then you would have said like, "Oh, sorry guys, hate to say it, but I was right." Yeah, if you fucking pepper your Twitter with a whole bunch of random fucking assumptions, then like, yeah, of course, like, good job, like, you got it, dude. It looks like. Iran accidentally shot down a passenger plane thinking it was U.S. aircraft. Now listen to how charitable the frame. Yeah, not to mention, if the U.S. shot it down, why would Iran be like, oh, no, like, there is such a gap in critical thinking. There are so many reasons. Why. Like, oh, my God, Iran knows that the U.S. just shot down a civilian airliner. Okay, well, let's just go ahead and say it was engine trouble. What? Why the fuck would 
Iran say that? Why would Iran come out and make that statement? Of course not. They would be all over the fucking United States on that shit. What the fuck? What kind of stupid fucking logic is that? It's so stupid. Like, Iran, could you please cover for us, like, just this one time? Like, Iran would be screaming that to the world. Coming to attack them. I think they feared that um, since they were attacking the U.S. military base, that the U.S. was immediately responding and going after civilian infrastructure, going after the airports. And so they made the mistake of shooting down a passenger jet leaving Tehran. Oh, man, that is absolutely devastating. That's devastating. Here it comes, guys. Devastating. It's, it's heartbreaking. Here and it guys, comes. Guys, stuff like this... Here it comes. ...is all so avoidable. <laughs> How is it avoidable? This is all so avoidable. What if... What if the U.S. didn't assassinate General Soleimani? Kyle Kalinske is a worthless fucking talentless hack. Fuck that guy, dude. I hate him so much. God, he's such a fucking loser. What a fucking simp fuck. Oh my god, he's so fucking pathetic. What if Soleimani didn't orchestrate the deaths of American soldiers in Iraq and attack U.S. embassies? Like, we could run that game indefinitely. All the way back to the Native Americans, all the way back to the old empires of Europe, all the way back to fucking Rome. Like, debate him? Kolinsky won't debate me on any of this. He already ducked out on Twitter. He knows he's a fucking moron. Was he blaming America for shooting down that plane? More or less. God, fuck. Oh my god, I hate it so much. All right, leaving the lefties behind, please. <sighs> Like, well, how sure. many of them were Jews? Well, well you know what? I, I mean, we could, 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 so the Jewish question is a whole, a whole.